morning, my lovely viewers, and welcome to Real Talk. I am your host, Eve Nyaga. Are you a parent, a teacher, or a guardian? If so, at what age do you teach your child about safe sex, contraception, pregnancy, and menstruation? What do you consider a good age to teach your child about sexual reproductive health? You can be part of this conversation by sending in your comments, questions, or simply telling us where you're watching us from on eCircuit across all our social media platforms. Or you can talk to me directly on my social media platforms at Eve underscore Nyagawan on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Nyaga on Facebook. In studio with me is Grayson Mara from Gactivate to talk to us more about age-appropriate sexual reproductive health. Welcome. Thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm fine. Thank you for having me here. Okay, you're yeah. welcome. So tell us who you are and what Gactivate is. Uh, my name is Grayson Mara. Mm -hmm. uh, I work for Siasa Place. It's an NGO that engages young people on political issues. Mm -hmm. And I'm also the chairperson of the Gactivate National Movement. Mm -hmm. And Gactivate aims to give the youth a space where they can discuss about issues that affect them mm -hmm. and also to try to talk to their leaders about mm -hmm. solutions of problems that they are facing in their day-to-day -day lives mm -hmm. and so we've been uh, working with the, the youth in different counties since 2017 mm -hmm. and we've traversed at least uh, 39 counties okay. to talk to young people about their issues mm -hmm. and uh, in 2018 we launched the state of the youth report okay. that highlighted the issues that young people face in this country mm -hmm. and uh, the issues were four Mm -hmm. There was the issue of employment, mm -hmm. there was food security, there was corruption, and uh, the other one was um, housing, mm -hmm. affordable housing for young people. Okay. So they felt like these are the issues that matter to them, mm -hmm. and they wanted these issues, if they are addressed by their counties or the national government, mm -hmm. they would feel like things are easy for them. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, mm. so I know those are so many issues, but today I want us to talk about reproductive health. Um, so kindly give us, tell us what sexual rep sexual reproductive health is? So uh, we did a survey mm -hmm. uh, this year between the month of April and May to try and get the issues that young people feel are important to them uh, in regarding to sexual reproductive health. And so the survey work was uh, conducted in three counties, that is Kilifi, Narok, and Homa Bay. But we also added an extra three counties, mm -hmm. Nairobi, uh, Nyeri, and uh, Kiambu, to try and get, not Kiambu, Waji, to try and get the issues that young people felt were important to them in regarding to sexual reproductive okay. health. And so they were talking about uh, issues to do with contraceptive. Mm -hmm. Some were talking about issues to deal with uh, with with sex others were talking about how they could do how uh, the issues around abortion mm -hmm. and so this this survey was done by geopol and it is interesting to note that uh, around 60 not around 62 percent of young people mm -hmm. did not learn about sex from their parents but from the schools mm -hmm. so the parents did not teach the young people about these issues when mm -hmm. they were growing up mm -hmm. so they ended up learning them from from the schools mm -hmm. and so what we are trying to do is that these three counties that we are focusing on that is Kilifi, Narok, and Homa Bay there are high rates of teenage pregnancies mm -hmm. there are high rates of young people uh, having issues around their sexual reproductive health rights. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to start a campaign in yeah. these three counties to try and advocate for young people to push for, for policy changes in mm -hmm. their counties, or even just a discussion with their leaders about matters of sexual reproductive health. And mm -hmm. so that is the campaign that we are running this year mm -hmm. in those three counties, mm -hmm. yes. So um, according to you and your team, yes. at what age is the right time to teach young people about reproductive health? Mm, we feel that uh, they should be taught this from the earliest point, mm -hmm. and this is the duty that most parents are not doing. Mm -hmm. They should be talking to their young people about mm -hmm. uh, about sex mm -hmm. and about issues about their rights. Mm -hmm. And so you find that also in the survey, there was a question about uh, why do you think the parents don't talk to their young people? I was people? just about to ask you <laughs> that. <laughs> it's because they feel uh, the the reasons are one that parents sometimes they feel like it's not the right thing to do as parents. Mm -hmm. The society has made us to feel like it's odd and it's yeah. wrong yeah. for your dad to come and talk to you about sex. Mm -hmm. And so the parents leave that duty aside. The other thing is that parents do not have the information or knowledge about sexual reproductive health rights. Mm -hmm. And so a parent is just there and they think it's the work of the teacher to go and teach this young person about sex. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they don't do that duty completely. And they also there was the issue that parents don't have time with their children mm -hmm. because uh, the children spend most time in schools. Yeah. So they, they are there between 6 to 6 p.m. So the parent has like two hours to talk to the daughter or the son. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't have enough time to talk to them about these issues. Mm -hmm. And so they've neglected that duty and it's now the teachers who are doing it. Yeah. Yes. So and, and are the teachers doing a good job at it? Uh, the teachers are trying, mm -hmm. it is in the curriculum, and if we look at the survey, there was a question about uh, 
if young people learned about these things in school and okay. if they wanted if there could be more classes on sexual reproductive health in school. Mm -hmm. So there were some who are feeling like the classes should be increased, mm -hmm. some who are feeling that the classes are enough, but still the teachers are doing a part to ensure that the youth and the, and the people who are growing, the young people, mm -hmm. get this knowledge from the schools. Mm -hmm. Yes. So could you share with us um, the advantages of um, learning about sexual reproductive health at an early age? Uh, it helps young people make decisions mm -hmm. and these are sound decisions because you find like when you look at a county like Leafy, it has a high rate of teenage pregnancies and these young girls go into this because they don't have information. And so one of the things that we are doing in this campaign uh, this year is try and give young people information about mm -hmm. sexual reproductive health, yeah. what they need to know about their rights, things to do with sex because they are doing it at an early age mm -hmm. but how can we ensure that they do it in a safe way yeah. so that we don't have very many young girls dropping out of schools mm -hmm. because of early pregnancies. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like uh, uh, after this campaign that we intend to do in the next three years would get a young people that is uh, informed about these issues because information is a key issue for young people mm -hmm. and they want to get information in a way that we've not been doing it as a society the society have been wanting to to pass this information through say newspapers through TV through yeah. radio and yeah. most young people in the survey they were asked how would you want to learn about issues about sexual reproductive health and top of them they were talking about social media mm -hmm. for those who have gone to school mm -hmm. and then for those who did not at attend or attain formal education they were talking about TV and radio and so there is a different there is a difference in the in the class of young people that we have but the main thing is that they want to be communicated to a way that they can understand mm -hmm. and so as we go to the counties we don't go there with projectors to go and tell them oh this is the big thing with reports with a lot of English mm -hmm. we go and talk to them <laughs> about the problems that they are facing yeah. now to you need to ensure mm -hmm. that as a young person you safeguard this space and get the knowledge and information about sexual reproductive health mm -hmm. and so once you talk to them in a way that they can relate mm -hmm. it becomes easy and they can push for these changes, especially with their county governments. Yeah. Mm. So what about the disadvantages of the same? You know, some might argue if we talk to young people too early about these things, it pushes them to go and engage in them more. Uh, that curiosity. <laughs> it could be, it could be, it could be, mm -hmm. yes or no. Because I feel like if we don't talk to them, and they are doing it or they get wrong information, yeah. they will end up doing it and that's why we have very many young girls dropping out of school. Mm -hmm. And so, and so our, our main aim is to give them the right information mm -hmm. and credible information and teach them about the right things about sexual reproductive health. Yeah. We're not going to tell them that if you've never had sex as a young girl or as a young boy in class six, mm -hmm. now start doing because it is your right or because, <laughs> <laughs> because you can have it in, 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 in a protected way. No, we're trying to tell them that if these things are happening, of which they're happening, mm -hmm. how can you ensure that it is in a safe environment, mm -hmm. you do not drop out of school, or what are the opportunities or the, or the methods that exist for you to ensure that uh, you, 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 are in, you are safe and you stay in school for, for, for until you are at an age that you can now do those things. Yeah. Yes. So other than teachers and parents, who else should come on board so that um, we can teach young people more about so uh, also one of the focus is the leaders. Mm -hmm. So the leaders also play a very critical role because you know county governments are, are f with this devolution they are supposed to ensure that the youth of that county have a safe environment for themselves. Yeah. And so what we are doing is we are engaging the leaders. We don't mm -hmm. just go and talk to the youth about their rights and make them uh, become noisy or stubborn or stubborn or have a lot of information, mm -hmm. but we also bring the leaders. So one, one of the people that we need to focus on are the leaders, and we are targeting especially the people working on reproductive health in the counties. Yeah. They are called reproductive health officers. Mm -hmm. These are the people who deal with issues of sexual reproductive health in the counties, and we try and engage them. How can we ensure for example, in Homer Bay County, the young people have access to issues around reproductive health. Mm -hmm. If they want to get contraceptives, how do they get them through a person who is a medical practitioner or someone who is qualified to give them that? So that they don't end up uh, going to, 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 to quacks or using dubious means yeah. like abortion, which is mm -hmm. happening a lot in this country, mm -hmm. and, and they can get it from a medical practitioner. So they are the leaders, and then they are... They are, they are faith-based groups, the, mm -hmm. uh, the faith-based organizations, the churches, the, the, the mosques, the, the, the religious leaders. Yeah. We are targeting them because they also have an influence on these young people. Mm -hmm. So we are also using churches to pass this information to young people that if you are doing this, please do it this way. Mm -hmm. And then there is now, we've talked about parents, teachers, uh, leaders, religious leaders. Okay. There is also the, the community leaders. We mm -hmm. have village elders, we have chiefs, the people from the national government. Yeah. They're also influential. Mm -hmm. And once they pass this information that there is this and this campaign that is going on, mm -hmm. most young people will come on board. Mm -hmm. mm. So you said that you conducted a survey. What other issues came up during the survey? 
So the survey was, was done in three counties mm -hmm. and uh, one of the key issues that came out was the issue of contraceptives. Mm -hmm. Young people wanted to know more about contraceptives. There was the issue about sex. They wanted to learn about sex. Mm -hmm. And uh, really? this, yes, this was a survey between <laughs> 18 to 24 uh -huh. young people. Uh, b before you go on. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So that's the age group. Yes. Uh -huh. 18 it to 24. It was 18 to 24. Uh -huh. And uh, they wanted to learn about contraceptives. They wanted to learn about sex. They wanted mm -hmm. to learn about abortion. Some of them were talking about issues to do with uh, early pregnancies. What do you do if you are a young girl and you, 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 you are pregnant, pregnant at that point? Mm -hmm. What do you do? And even there was the issue of the parents neglecting their responsibility. Mm -hmm. We also had a question about issues of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. We asked young people, what do you think about... One, one of the statements that was there was, uh, women need to be beaten for them to be <laughs> loyal or uh, in a relationship. Are you serious? Interestingly, uh -huh. young people, at least around 78% of them disagreed with that statement. Okay. They said it shouldn't, it shouldn't <laughs> no, be that way. It is very right. wrong. Yeah. And so it was good to see that young people uh, do not like find gender-based violence as a good thing, mm -hmm. which, is, which is now good yeah. because now they will be champions of telling even those who are old in the society mm -hmm. that it's wrong for you yeah, to, wrong. To, to, to have violence on someone. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So mm. that's, those are the main issues. Those are the main issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how are you planning to make sure that um, the young people get this information and they get um, the right means to, you know, going around these issues? So, so Geactivate is a consortium of different organizations, around mm -hmm. seven, and so each organization has a way that they are implementing this project in these three counties. Yeah. So I would say, for example, Siasa Place, where I work, mm -hmm. our work is to train young people on advocacy. Mm -hmm. So we'd go to Homa Bay, like last week we were in Homa Bay, we were training them about advocacy. So we teach them, this is how you can advocate for issues around sexual reproductive health in your counties. Mm -hmm. And our focus is to see if they can develop a policy, they can push for a policy to be developed by their county government around SRH, or even just hold their leaders accountable around issues that are in, in that county. Mm -hmm. So like in Homa Bay, they were talking about teenage pregnancies, and we hope that in the next two years, the young mm -hmm. people that we trained who are now like our advocates, yeah. committed that we are going to reduce teenage pregnancies by at least 20% in mm -hmm. Homa Bay County. So we want to see how can we go around reducing teenage pregnancies. So they create a campaign, and that campaign, they, there's a way that they are going to see it implemented. Mm -hmm. And if they want a policy, we brought in their leaders. Their leaders committed that they are going to push for a policy to be introduced by the county executive mm -hmm. to ensure that the youth in Homa Bay County are safeguarded. Because these policies provide a, 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 an opportunity for the county assembly to pass it as a law. And so if someone is found to contravene that law, then the legal measures yeah. are taken. Yeah. And then we also target other groups, like people who are out of school. So uh -huh. there is an organization that targets that. We also go to schools. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenya Red Cross Youth Department goes to schools to mm -hmm. talk to young people because then they have a relationship of entering in schools and they know how they can talk to those children. Yeah. So we also do campaigns in schools. Mm -hmm. And then there are people who are out of school but they have not attended formal education. Say mm -hmm. people in in circles, in uh, chamas, like border border guys, we talk yeah. to them. Like in Homa Bay, I could mention that uh, border border guys who are mentioned as the biggest perpetrators of teenage pregnancies because yeah, they have quick have money. That, yeah. Yes, and they, are, they, can, they can lie to the girls and, hey, it's happening. Yeah. So we're also talking to them. How can we ensure that you people are the, are the, um, are the ambassadors of mm -hmm. change and the, the people talking about sexual reproductive health rights to the young people? Mm -hmm. So we target different groups using mm -hmm. different methods. There are those also who do debates, like mm -hmm. we'd go and have forums, a town hall with the people in the counties, the youth, the leaders, and the, 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 the other stakeholders that I've mentioned to try and discuss how can we go about it. Okay. Yes. Um, you've said that the, the survey was conducted in three counties and another three. Why those particular counties? So uh, the United Nations did a survey in 2016 and these three counties, Kilifi, Narok and Homa Bay, were leading on issues of teenage pregnancies and uh, sexual reproductive health rights issues. Mm -hmm. And so we decided let us focus on these three counties because there is a gap and we need to fill this gap. Yeah. But the other three, Nairobi, uh, Nyeri and Wajia, we mm -hmm. wanted also to just feel what, what are the youth thinking in these other three counties. Mm -hmm. They are not mm, mostly affected by the issues of sexual reproductive health, mm -hmm. but what are the young people from these three counties talking about? Mm -hmm. So our focus is the three, Kilifi, Narok and Omabe. And after the campaign for the next three years, we'd want to see, have we gotten some change from, mm -hmm. from, from, from the issues that were happening and is there a difference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, like you're saying, have you gotten any change? <laughs> <laughs> no, the campaign is, uh, we started in April. Uh -huh. So we are around five, uh, three, four 
months uh -huh. into it uh -huh. and uh, even we've not we've not gone to all the three counties yet okay. so each organization has started in uh, in a specific county so mm -hmm. like for ourselves at Siasa place we've started from uh, from Homabi mm -hmm. next we are going to Kilifi and once we've done the training ours is to follow up there and ensure that mm -hmm. if the leaders committed to push for a policy change mm -hmm. can they do it yeah. if the young people committed to push for their leaders to do something mm -hmm. can they do it because mm -hmm. we've given them the knowledge we've trained them mm -hmm. now it is up to them to do the work yeah. and ours will be to support and to follow up and see mm -hmm. we told you about advocacy what are you doing so far mm -hmm. what have you done so far mm -hmm. and how are you engaging your counties mm -hmm. to ensure that they push for these changes on uh, matters around sexual reproductive health mm -hmm. so we hope that at the end of the three uh, after the three years or after every one year would come and say in kilifi we've seen a drop in teenage pregnancies. Yeah. In Homer Bay, we've seen now the border borders are champions for sexual reproductive health. Mm -hmm. Or even those people who give, uh, it's called fish fish for sex, that mm -hmm. women and young girls go and trade sex to get fish from the from the lake. Okay. How are those people who, are, yes, okay. how are fishermen in Homer Bay now mm -hmm. championing, championing for issues of sexual reproductive health? And so we hope that we'll achieve that. But key that we want to see, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's also an attitude change. Mm -hmm. Because in most of these counties, people feel like uh, sex is not an issue that should even be talked out, yeah, out in public. It's, like a taboo. it's a taboo to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. So you'd invite a, a county executive committee member, CEC, to come to a meeting. Nana Kuliza, why are you inviting me to come and discuss about sex? <laughs> so we, we also need to see if there will be a change in the attitude yeah. of even the leaders or if even young people. Mm -hmm. Because most young people, again, they would they would shy away from coming to discuss this issue. We saw the, it's not the best issue to talk about, but we need to talk yes, about it. And, and, and one thing we are doing is to provide them a safe space where they can talk about these issues. Yeah. It's usually free mm -hmm. and there is no Kingereza Mingi. Mm -hmm. We usually give them a platform for them to speak in a language they can understand mm -hmm. and express their issues. Mm -hmm. And when they raise these issues, sometimes we might not, for example, I might not, I'm, I'm not a health expert, mm -hmm. but we usually have experts in those meetings and in those forums mm -hmm. that if a question comes up and you're not in a position to answer, mm -hmm. someone else will yeah, come and someone, answer yeah, from, a, yeah. from, from a professional point of view. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just to touch on what you said earlier on, mm -hmm. um, you said that Gactivate um, looks at other issues. Mm. in terms of politics. Mm. There was health. Um, what else was there? There was health, mm -hmm. there was employment, yeah. and then there was uh, food security, uh -huh. and the other one was corruption. Yeah. Yes, so those were the four key issues from 2017 that young people felt were important mm -hmm. to them. Yes. So has any of that, do you have a campaign on that? Yes, so in phase one and phase two, we were not focusing on health. Mm -hmm. We were focusing on uh, leadership and governance. So we went to uh, the 39 counties to try mm -hmm. and give young people a platform to talk about their issues. Mm -hmm. It was called Jactivate Mta. So in these forums, what we did was to bring the leaders and the young people together and offer a platform for them to discuss that in this county, say to Rukana, these are the challenges that we are facing. And yeah. as the leaders, how can we do moving forward? Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to, to, to also collect. We, that was like a survey, to try and collect. That's where we came up with the State of the Youth report mm -hmm. that now highlights these four key issues. Mm -hmm. So in all the 39 counties that we went to, young people are was talking about the same, same issues. Yeah. You move from Wasengishu, you mm -hmm. go to Turkana, they are still talking about the same issues. Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to, to, to also train them on uh, the constitutionally provided mechanisms for them to engage with their leaders, things like public participation, and also how they can ensure that the leaders that they have been elected do yeah. their work. Yes. And so we've, we've also had that aspect, but this year we are focusing on health because mm -hmm. also health is an issue with it young people. It's a big issue. And, and, and young people need to know that these are your rights and this is how you can go about issues around sexual reproductive health mm -hmm. yes okay mm. so um should there be changes in maybe the curriculum because i feel like parents and teachers are the most immediate people that can that have access to young people uh, i i don't think the the, the solution would be the curriculum per se mm -hmm. the first thing is the attitude mm -hmm. especially from the parents Parents are not talking to their children because of that attitude that Nikiongelesha mtoto wangu about sex, umtoto atanza kufanya hizi And it's also, they feel like it's an awkward kind yes. of discussion. So we, 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 we are also targeting parents. Mm -hmm. There's something I forgot to mention. Yeah, One yeah. of the groups that we also target is the parents. Mm -hmm. We have intergenerational forums mm -hmm. where we bring the old people and the young people together to discuss about it, these issues. Mm -hmm. So wale wazee kabisa wa mtani, wale wenye, they don't talk normally. We bring them to a forum and tell them, we are trying to sensitize young people about sexual reproductive health. What do you think needs to be done? Mm -hmm. So there's that aspect. But then about the curriculum, I think even if we introduce it 
in the curriculum more and more and more because okay. it's there. Sex yeah. education is yeah, there, it's, it's taught there. somewhere in primary, uh -huh. but there is need to, to, to improve it, yes, uh -huh. but then change the attitude of even the people who are doing it. Uh -huh. Because you can't ask a teacher to go and teach about sexual reproductive health uh -huh. when he or she feels like it's an awkward thing to do. Uh -huh. So there is that need for, for us to change the attitude, and then if, if, if that works, then now we can, we can try and beef up what is already there in the curriculum. Yeah. Yes. So if anyone wanted to join you guys in the campaign, or be a part of maybe educating young people how can they can they be part of that yes so so deactivate we are opening up membership for organizations in the in the counties to join and be part of deactivate but in this campaign uh, we, we, are, we are biased in three counties, so Kilifi, Narok, oh. and Homabi. Yeah. So if someone is in those counties, they mm -hmm. can contact us. And when we come for these forums, we, can, we are gladly ready to engage them uh -huh. and even see how we can partner together in, 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 in tackling the issue of sexual reproductive health. Yeah. So uh, our contacts, Gactivate, uh, it's online, gactivate.org. There's a media contact person there, and mm -hmm. there is an email. They can reach out to us, also mm -hmm. on social media, Gactivate on all the platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are willing, especially, we, we like working with you groups because groups are a little bit organized yeah. and it's easier to reach a bigger number. Mm -hmm. So in phase one and phase two we were going and we were just inviting young people to come and talk to them but we felt that we were not reaching uh, a good a good people a good number of people mm -hmm. because of that you've invited me today mm -hmm. tomorrow again you'll invite a different person tomorrow yeah. you'll invite me it like that mm -hmm. but when you go for a group if there are youth groups out there in those three counties feel free to talk to us we'll would see how we work together as we implement this project in the, mm -hmm. three, in the three counties sorry okay mm. are you planning to move to other counties once these counties you have seen like a drop in teenage pregnancies and all that stuff uh, I would not say per se because uh, one thing we want to see first is that we are we are through with this issue of health mm -hmm. and then you know we are gearing up to move into elections so okay. uh, maybe next we'll be focusing on leadership and governance mm -hmm. but then if there are counties that there are issues and uh, the young people feel like they would want to be addressed would be glad to go and, uh, and offer a platform for them to discuss these issues. Mm -hmm. So yes, we will expand and I think we've gone to, to almost all the counties. Yeah. At least 39 is a good number out of 47 and some of the counties that we didn't go, maybe it was a challenge of say security, there was mm -hmm. a place we had to go but there, was, there were issues, yeah. but we were willing to go and reach out to young people in all these counties. Okay, Yes. anything else you'd like to add on that? Uh, I think uh, it's for the young people out there who are watching us that mm -hmm. We need to be proactive, especially to push for change in our communities. Mm -hmm. And evolution, one of the objectives is that power is to brought closer to the people. Yeah. And so as young people in our counties, what are we doing to push for change in these counties? Mm -hmm. And so I would urge the young people out there, and even those who are watching us and they are not young, mm -hmm. to push for change in their counties. Not only on issues of sexual reproductive health, but even issues of leadership and governance. Yeah. Because if we don't get it right with our leaders, mm -hmm. we are not able to do anything for our counties. That's true. Yes. And uh, a last thing is that politics affects all of us. Mm -hmm. And so we should not shy away when you hear that this forum is going to discuss about your leader or it's going to discuss about issues in that county mm -hmm. let's go out to these meetings and talk about these issues mm -hmm. that way we'll be able to see the change that we desire as young people in this mm -hmm. country yes okay that's mm -hmm. a good platform and thank you so much for making time to talk to us about that thank you asante sana for this and uh, to nashkuru yeah, thank you right. we shall do a follow-up to see um how the campaign is doing <laughs> sure we will we will be glad to come and tell you that we did this and this in these counties yeah. and even as we go to these counties we usually try and uh, uh, get media coverage and and talk about the issues that have come up from from the trainings mm -hmm. so like if you go to Oma Bay and there is an issue we we highlight it mm -hmm. through the media mostly mm -hmm. and also on social media even right now we are doing a poll uh, around issues of sexual reproductive health mm -hmm. it's a type form just young people to feel what they think about these issues and once we get this data we can even present it to the relevant bodies be the national or the county governments okay. yes so thank you so much Grayson Asante so um, as you've heard from Grayson all we need is an attitude change so that you can make better the sexual reproductive health thank you so much for tuning in to real talk but don't you go anywhere more of is coming your way